Over at Damon's, he's upping the stakes yet again, working with this man, Thomas Block, owner and maestro player of three of the rarest instruments in the world. There's nowhere else in the world, I can guarantee it, there's nowhere else in the world at the moment that would have these three instruments in the same room. That's for sure. This is the Ond Martineau, one of the earliest electric instruments. And the keyboard also moves. He's a very clean musician. He washes his hands an awful lot. But I mean, that's because he can't get any grease on, on, on especially on the glass or on it. Because it, it won't play if you do. I have to prepare the instrument. You, you know, it looks a little bit like a kind of a kebab, but uh, without meat, just with uh, glasses. It's the same kind of instrument than when you play on the normal glasses in a restaurant. This is the glass harmonica, invented by Benjamin Franklin in 1761. They're a kind of missing link, in a way, from what I've been doing in the studio to what, what is possible within in orchestration. So they're really important. And this, created in 50s France, is the Crystal Bachet. to replicate and augment the synthesizer sounds that Damon made on his early demos on Thomas's instrument. Then Thomas will join the Monkey Orchestra in Manchester in June. Tell me whether you think this might work. On Omi Tofu, you know, there's the chant. Yes, oh yeah. I was thinking the percussive sound okay. of the crystal bass. Right, let's have a go at that. Doubling, right. so I've got the part for that, I think. Dun, 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 dun. Play around with that. Don't play the notes. Just whatever. Yeah. You know? I'm, trying I'm trying to do you a cleaner copy. These otherworldly sounds will add a whole new layer to Damon's composition. But merely evoking a sense of China through existing instruments isn't enough for Damon. He's taking it a lot further than that. Dreaming up a whole new instrument. <laughs> 